Next team up, Epsilon. Let's put it simple. They were awful in stage one. There was a point where we thought they may not win a series at all. Luckily, they brought in Reedy and he helped them out to, to find a couple of wins, but still finish at the bottom of Division B. I think two is a good place to start for them. Maven, over under two and a half wins for Epsilon. I'm going under for Epsilon. Let's take a look back at the two wins they got. Yes, I know they came behind Reedy. It was against an NV team falling apart and against a Vitality team no longer in the Pro League. The big thing here is this is an incredibly competitive division, maybe the most we've had across Stage 1 and Stage 2. Every single match, every single map they go into across those, what, four weeks, they are going to be underdogs. They are not going to be favorites in a single series. I think I, I, I put them at two wins again. I think they stick right around there. Maybe you it's think crazy. They two. Yeah, man, two, one. <laughs> who, do, who do you think they beat then at this point? Who do what? you think they're going to beat? I have no. That's the reason I go under. I have no idea, Joe. Like I think they're going to get. They're going to need a little bit of luck, maybe to get a victory, because there's no easy wins. Like who's the easiest team for them to maybe take something off? An EG team who just came off a grand final appearance. Uh, an Echo Fox team that's starting to look dominant. I, no, I, I don't. I don't feel good about Epsilon at all. They're going to be a punching bag. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's I'm, see. I'm, I'm going over. I am. And okay. I, I think it's important to really emphasize the difference in, in how the Pro League and our Open events are. The players have said it many, many times themselves. It, it's a different feeling. It's a, a completely different kind of ballpark, if you will. Sure. Uh, so for me, I don't think you can look at, oh, well, you know, look at the last result for, for them. Yeah, it was abysmal, but it doesn't really matter. I think when Reedy comes in in the Pro League stage one, you see the improvement. You do. The players feel more comfortable. They start to gel a little bit better. Yes, this division is probably more stacked, but they will get more than two and a Did half Did that points. improve and make them better than any of the other seven teams in this division? I think it, I think it will. <laughs> I, I think, honestly, <laughs> I, you can laugh all you want, laugh all you want, but I'm going to say it right now, and my predictions on the show have been pretty consistent, more, more like yours at least. Now you're going, you're you're going over. How, how many wins are you giving them, I, I think they're going to be a dark horse. Now, I think it could range anything between like three and seven. I really okay. do. For the simple reason, I think this is a team which many are going to underestimate. People are going to think, oh, steps on. They're, they're not that good. Reality is they are. They, they're a good team. They, I think they can take some of the best teams the distance. It's just about composure and closing those series out. Now, for me, this is going to be the squad. Which is, I think this is a squad well, which is going to upset seven wins? I said anywhere between oh, three and seven. Okay. This is a team which is going to upset a lot, and I mean a lot of teams for that exact reason. People are going to just go in so overconfident and so cocky that Epsilon will bite them in the ass. All right. We heard it here from our players. Uh, I'm going to give our early lead out. I'm going to give two points to Maven, one to Ben. I just don't. I put them at two wins, maybe okay. one. To be honest, I'm not even sure if these guys are going to be able to get a win. When you look at Division A, it is stacked from top to bottom except for the very, very bottom, which <laughs> is Epsilon. We'll see, though. Again, there's always been that one team throughout the stage who has gotten beat up a little bit, and it could be Epsilon when you look at the quality of teams. 